As the year draws to a close, I thought we'd look back over some of the achievements and activities of the past 12 months and introduce you to a member of our staff who oversees much of our work. Fran, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Keith. Now, you have this great title. I always think titles <laughs> describe what a person does, and I hope yours does. Executive Manager of Communications, Fundraising and Volunteering. What does that portfolio really involve? Yeah, well, it, it is quite self-evident, the three areas of my work. So, communications. So, we look after all of the marketing requirements of our centres, and that's quite broad. It can be from promoting our work in very commercial areas like our training services, our hospitals, our um, aged care facilities and other times we can be working on um, how do we convince government to support us more um, in some of our areas like homelessness and mental health. Um, we also have a, a corporate function as well which is about looking at our website, things like our social media, our annual review, all of that activity. So it's a, a very busy department because we're supporting about 130 centres across the organisation. So you're bringing together lots of these different areas, which in a way, I don't want to denigrate this, but they are support services exactly. that make the frontline people do their job better. Exactly. Look, um, what do you find the most fulfilling aspect of the work is? Yeah. Um, I think for me it's the fact that we can, as you say, we're a support function, can contribute to the amazing work of Wesley Mission. We're, we're not on the front line, but we are contributing in our way. And it is very humbling when you, you see the work that is being done and knowing that in some way the work of the team is contributing to that. And you work for, for a number of years now, and you're one of our stars, really. And one of the jobs that you have is to actually enable people to link up, isn't it, to see that what they're doing is actually related to the caring. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you manage to do that? I think it's um, you know, showing people what we do. So we are taking our teams out to the centres. We are sharing the stories of our clients, both within Wesley Mission and outside of Wesley Mission. So it is enabling people to see how each of the services are interconnected. A lot of our reports are showing how some of the issues are so connected. So there's about a couple of hundred of us work in head office in, in Pitt Street, mm -hmm. but many, many more, uh, hundreds of hundreds of people out there. Do you think, do, can you see the difference when, when teams have gone out and observed and, and connected with, with services when they come back? Yes, there's a real energy and enthusiasm when the team come back from being out in the centres. They're quite humbled as well because they realise the challenges that are, are being faced by the teams that are outside in the, in the community. And um, we sometimes feel we're having a difficult day, um, but they realise when they've been to the centres the challenges that our team are working Is there a programme that sticks out for you as being a programme that you think, gosh, I'm really proud of that being part of our mm -hmm. work? Um, I think one of the ones, you know, being, being a mum, um, I am very um, proud of the work that we do in suicide prevention because it's obviously an issue with young people today. Um, and one of the, the more recent programs is the Mums and Kids Matter program. It's a, a program for, for mums who are struggling with mental illness um, but enables them to get the support they need while their family and children can still be close by. And I think that's really important for the road to recovery when you know somebody is struggling with mental illness. Sometimes people ask me the question, are all your, your leaders uh, are, are Christians and are they committed to, to the values that you embrace? And, and that is true about our senior leadership uh, team. And you're a member very much of, of that leadership. How important is faith to you in how you understand what you do? Mm -hmm. My faith is extremely important. I think it's you know what brought me to Wesley Mission and I think it enables me to um, look at how I behave as a leader in the organisation, um, ensure that I am showing my Christian heart, my servant heart every day as I come to the office. Um, and I, I just want to be um, the example that I can to my team and, and show them that the work that we do is God's work. And sometimes the challenge for any of us involved in leadership is how do you match up making difficult decisions alongside wanting to live out the life of Christ? Mm -hmm. and, and is that the same for you? It is because, you know, Christ had to make very difficult decisions and I think it is, you know, 
ensuring that you're looking out for the greater good yes. and that you are you're making a tough decision that may impact one person um, but how does that decision impact a greater number of people um, so and when we talk I'm about Christian going. faith we're a broad church aren't we in the sense that our people come from all kinds of different traditions mm -hmm. is that does do you find that a positive thing or a problem no, I think it's a very positive thing because people bring different views and I think it makes for an interesting discussion and it, it, it ensures that we, we aren't being insular in our views. We are looking at people who come into our services in a way that's embracing of their faith um, and of their views. And just as an insight, um what can happen in, an, in a normal week that's totally abnormal, that throws the whole <laughs> ship into disarray? What can happen? Um, I, I think every day is, is a different day at Wesley. Um, I have worked in large corporations before and I, I think Wesley is the most challenging environment that I've ever worked in yes. because things do happen from day to day that you don't expect. You know, they could be staff issues. Um, the centres may get a call from a minister to say, we, we're having a visit at the centre tomorrow. Can you pull that together? So it's, it's always been, you know, a different challenge thrown at you every day. But exciting. It is. It's very exciting. I've been with the organisation for many years now and, and I'm, I'm not bored. Um, I find that it is, you know, always something different every day. Mm. And, and for you, uh, the challenge of the future? Challenge for the future. Um, recently, in, within our team, we've um, had volunteering as part of our team. So that's the next growth area for us. There's a lot of um, changes within the volunteering environment um, and also in the communications area as well because the um, environment in which the government is operating is changing. What's yeah. the one thing that you'd like people who come across Wesley Mission's communication to know or feel or respond to in the organisation? I think it's the work that we do is helping everybody because every every person is important and just if people could support the work that we do in many ways through volunteering through supporting our work through interacting with all of our um, material online thanks fran you share that with me the desire for us not to be in a place where we're embarrassed about talking about what it is we have to offer because what we have to offer makes an enormous difference i want you to continue joining through this season right up to an amazing christmas day show please do join us next week for another episode of wesley impact thank you god bless you and good to share life and this particular program in your life too.